I'm not going to get engaged just because I'm The Bachelor. You know, I'm not going to pick one just because she's the last one standing. Do you see yourself? I think it's going to work. Okay. Gonna work. I hope it will, and I think it will. So you're happy with the final four? Yeah, I'm really happy. Every time I'm with that person, it's like, oh, like, like I think it's going to be her. And then the next date, it's like, oh, you know, and that's the challenge. It's like it's a good and a bad thing. It's... And you haven't even been alone with them yet. No. OK, so Fantasy Suites, you're finally going to be alone with them all. Let me ask you this. Are you going to have sex with any of them then? Um, <laughs> I, can I be honest? I don't know. I'm honestly torn. OK. Like, as a man, yeah. like I'm physically attracted to all of them. I think it would be amazing. But um, I really want this to work. Do you want my advice? I would, yeah. Actually, Having I would. been there and done it, I think if you see a potential for that girl to be standing there at the end and you getting down on one knee with her, then that lends itself, if you two agree, mm -hmm. to take it to the next level and to be intimate. Honestly, like, you're entitled to do whatever you want. You have three girls that you respect and care about that are dating you, that you're dating, you've met their families, they've, you know, professed how much they like you or love you, like, you're an adult. I think you have every right to get as intimate as the two of you want in each relationship. Mm. It's my that's, feminist brand. That's good. I, that I can No, it's more. true. The only reason that you should not go there is if you're just, if you don't see it at all. This is very weird getting fantasy suite date advice. I know. Do you like, look back and you're like, damn, I shouldn't have said, why would you make love with me if you weren't in love with me? <laughs> I, I've, I've, I, I didn't take till now to probably be like, eh, probably not the best move. Yeah. But, but listen, I do want you to know that my single biggest regret when it comes to you and I, when I said what I said, that it brought you a lot of heartache and a lot of pain, uh, is something you had, to, you had to deal with for a long time. And I've always felt you know, bad about that. And I've always cared about you, and I still want you to be happy. And for that, I've always been sorry. Well, thank you for saying that. I know that I hurt you, and in return, like, you kind of hurt me back. And we've both done our damage, but, like, don't let that keep you from anything now. I feel like don't do that to yourself. I don't want it to, like, hold you back from anything. This is, like, your one chance, and don't let something you said two years ago well, I, I appreciate that. I mean that. You know, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean I it. I know. After talking to Andy, she gave me some good advice. I'm very, very thankful that Andy wants me to find love and that I have her support.